this is Robin Williams from the real robinwilliams.com welcome to this video and I'll be showing you how to export your list from Aweber um, it's gonna be really short and stay uh, tuned towards the end because I'm gonna be giving you some tips on uh, what you should be looking out for and why you will actually export your list to begin with so um, one of the things that kind of triggered me to shoot this video is because when I went to go export my subscribers I've noticed that it wasn't in the obvious place, right? Um, you would think if they have a place for you to import your uh, subscribers or manage them, you should be able to export them, but that wasn't the case. Uh, so what it was is you had to click on manage lists to export your subscribers from Aweber, and it had a, a, a button. It says backup and export all active lists. Um, one of the things that I just learned from a lady named Linda Bamba, and I'll be adding her video to this uh, description of this video as well, is that um, when you click this button, you're going to be getting a backup of everything. But for instance, if you wanted um, the top three list only and you didn't want the rest of it, uh, you can deactivate the ones that you don't want, and they'll fall into the deactivated category. However, once they fall here, and you uh, retrieve your your backup then you can go reactivate it because Aweber actually gives you like a 30-day um, like grace period to say oh never mind I really need this list <laughs> you know what I mean in case you accidentally deactivate it um, but that's if you don't want to just do everything at the same time uh, if you don't care you want to do everything it's real easy you just click this button and it'll send you an email uh, to uh, whatever email address you want it to put in here and I think I don't know if you could type a new one look like whichever is on file create a backup and it will send you a backup once uh, it will send you an email to the backup once that's completed now uh, once you get it you'll get an email similar to this one here on the right I don't know if you can really see it but all it is is uh, saying that um, there is a, a link to your backup and that your backup is ready so you will literally um, click on that link and you'll have files open uh, which will be the zip files now once the zip files are open you can download it and um, the list will look something like this I have an example here um, obviously it would have all the information in there I removed it for the sake of this video so that people's personal information wouldn't be in there but uh, you'll have an email name, additional notes, status, verified message, or whatever it may be. Now, if you're using this list to import it into another system, uh, these fields would be good to have. A lot of these fields would be good to have, like the IP address, where they signed in from, what country. Um, obviously, the, the, the stuff like email, phone numbers, and everything. Um, but if it's some fields there that you don't need, you can probably delete it. But I think it's... Um, uh, a good thing to just at least have these uh, fields ready if you were to import it now a couple of things that I wanted to touch bases on was the actual um, use of the list now for instance if you're exporting this list and you're trying to uh, save it for like five years later so that you can email that list again um, I highly do not recommend that you do that because um, you will basically um, probably lose a relationship with that list most likely especially after five years people will forget that they ever even signed up for your list in the first place um you know i just feel like it's a good practice to at least keep active with the list if you plan on using them so if not um i don't know what else you would export it for like maybe for some reason you know maybe some people may be having issues with the payment and they can't make the payment you want to make sure you keep the list until you have the payment and that choice in that um circumstances you probably have no choice but to export it and let it sit until you're able to um, afford a web or another system or something like that um, or maybe you would export it just to do a blitz call like everybody who has a phone number on the blitz you want to go out there and promote or thank them for being on the list or whatever it may be um, that will be a good use uh, for exporting but other than that I guess it's a plain old backup you know is what a lot of people might use it for you know just in case right so that's all I have. This is Robin Williams from the real Robin Williams .com. Um, Definitely click on the link at the top of the description of this video if you want more training on how to build your business from home using the power of the internet. Um, and I will see you on the top. Peace.